In today's electronic project, I'm going to use a 2N2222 transistor, one of the most popular NPN transistors used in DIY electronics. To begin, I'll carefully apply a little solder on all its pins. This step is important because pre-tending the pins ensures better solder flow and stronger joints when we connect other components. Next, I'll take a piece of copper wire and solder it to the collector pin of the transistor. This copper wire will act like a bus connection, allowing us to attach multiple components neatly to the same point. Now, I'll bring in a buzzer, which will serve as the sound indicator in our project. I'll solder its negative pin directly to the copper wire connected to the collector pin of the transistor. After that, I'll add a 3-volt LED to make the circuit more interactive. I'll bend both of its pins for easy alignment and solder the LED's negative pin to the same copper wire. This way, both the buzzer and LED share a common path through the collector of the transistor. To protect the LED and limit the current, I'll solder a 1K ohm resistor between the LED's positive pin and the positive pin of the buzzer. This resistor is essential because without it, the LED could burn out due to excess current. After making this connection, I'll cut off any extra pins to keep the circuit neat and tidy. Now comes the power supply. I'll solder the negative wire of a 12 volt battery to the emitter pin of the transistor and the positive wire of the battery to the positive pin of the buzzer. With this setup, our circuit gets the necessary power for both the LED and the buzzer to operate together. Now our circuit is complete and ready for testing. When I connect the battery and simply touch the collector and base pins of the transistor together, the transistor turns on. At that moment, the LED glows brightly and the buzzer starts buzzing loudly. It feels almost like magic, but in reality, it's the transistor working as an electronic switch. The beauty of this project lies in how the 2N2222 transistor amplifies and controls current. A tiny current applied at the base pin allows a much larger current to flow between the collector and emitter, powering both the LED and the buzzer at the same time. This type of circuit can be used in many ways, for example, as a basic alarm system, a sound and light indicator for DIY gadgets, or even a learning tool to understand how transistors function as switches. So what looks like a simple little component, the 2N2222 transistor, actually unlocks the power to control multiple devices with ease.